Hello, this is Torior and welcome back to Let's Play Europa Universalis 4 as Byzantium. We are in trouble, we are facing a massive coalition war. We are at war with Mamluks, Kaiku, Union, Muscovy and a few minor states. Also England, but this is not our war, this is Austria's war. We are almost finished with our war against Genoa. We are weaker than the Mamluks and their alliance, but we have Poland on our side and we might be able to gain some war score, I thought about it for a while, by sieging Muscovy, because all our other enemies are south down here. So we might be able to just wreck Muscovy and gain some war score by doing that. We will think about it. Anyway, Poland and Lithuania are helping us really considerably, so that's something to be grateful for. Muscovy is our rival. No, they aren't. We are their rival. We haven't rivaled Muscovy actually, because we have been at war for a very, very long time. Okay, let's continue. We have to recover our morale here so we can fight the rebels. Or the Musc Muscovy troops that are coming this way. Let's chase them. Can we catch them? 5th of August, 6th of August. We can't. There's maybe, maybe there's no point. And they are going to... Here. Yeah, let's do that. Let's follow them, maybe crush this one army, gain some war score. After that we will take care of the rebels down here. Okay, we have an army that is doing nothing. Let's move it to the Crimean region. Uh, 16th of August, 20th. Oh, damn. They escaped again. What about here? 28th? 28th. We should catch them now. We have a worse general, but uh, we have many more troops and Poland is coming to help us. And we also have better morale. Is that because we are the... Yeah, team prestige. Is that because we are the defender of the faith? I'm not sure. Muscovy is actually our religion. Okay, battle won. A bit of war score. Now you guys recover your morale and get ready to fight uh, our rebels. Rebels successful, Mansur. That is unfortunate, but we will take care of that. How are we doing on re other rebellions? Bulgarian rebels. Mm, this is very minor. And we can't core mm, Kaffa because we are at war against Genoa and Genoa has a core there. But we will finish sieging Genoa very soon. Right, actually, Poland is taking care of our rebels, which is very fortunate. We will still have to siege the province, though. Okay, and we have lost one siege. And we are at positive 11 war score. Maybe we will be able, sorry, clear offer, to get away with just a concession of defeat or war reparations or some cash. No, no, but it's close. This is a sh show superiority, mm, Cassus Belle. So if we don't engage their armies that are superior, only wipe the Muscovite armies up here, which are weaker than we are, we should be able to get uh, the ticking war score for the war goal. Is that the ticking war score or is it the set war score? That would actually be very useful. Okay, we have mm, lost another siege against the rebels. Let's detach here and bring the rest of our forces down here to Crimea. Remember to follow us. Let's take have a mm, let's monitor that closely because Poland is still. What uh, was I saying? Oh yeah. What Protestant entrenchment in Papal State is Papal State Protestant? I don't think that's possible in the game. Where is the Papal State? here. It is Catholic. Yes, it has to be Catholic. All right, that's hard-coded. I didn't read the pop-up to, mm, to... so I don't know exactly what happened. All right, mm, you guys go kill the rebels. Let's assign another general. Maybe he's a little bit better. Oh no, nobody is coming with us. So again, attach to us. We have to take those armies up here. Actually, those are these are not our armies. So yes, they are assaulting. One siege done. Show superiority. Ah, crap! 
we lost we lost the opportunity. Siege of Sivas, Castile, declared the war. What is this colonial conquest? Oh, we don't we don't know about the colonials, colonial regions yet, so we can't see that. Okay, we need to uh, to win a few more battles, so we will get the war goal. How are we doing? Will you accept any peace? Clear offer, concession. Not yet. But we actually are winning this. This is uh, not what I expected. I expected to be crushed. Okay, we can peace out Genoa. So let's just annex them. And we can start coring now. Our extension, core, core, core. And autonomy. Maybe not here, but here definitely. We are looking very pretty. But we have to concentrate on winning some more battles, so we will get uh, Trump war score. Let's hope this Croatian army is going to attach to us. Oh, we had to take a loan. Maybe we should consider firing um, some level 2 advisors. Hmm. No, we're not doing too badly. Let's let's keep them for now. Alright, Croatia is attached to us, so you guys strike at the rebels in Crimea. We are, have vastly superior forces. Well, not vastly, but it's 1.5. So we will win it. Alright, we are victorious. Let's detach a siege and get back north, perhaps destroy a Muscovit army. Alright. Well, how are we doing? Show superiority almost done. We will not accept the concession of defeat, but we are winning. Which is certainly more than I expected. We could actually catch this army, perhaps. If we could, we would get a lot of war score. Mm, no, we can't do it. They're too fast. Let's let's kick Muscovy a bit instead. Now oh, we lost our royal marriage with Croatia, and Austria is at peace now. No. Oh, Austria separate peace uh, signed a separate peace with England. Let's do the same. Concession of defeat. We will lose prestige. Well, let's. Uh, we are not losing anything in this war. No, none of our troops are fighting in it. So, let's not care about that and just let it play out. England will probably annex Friesland, annex Friesland and um, we will we will be pieced out automatically. If this doesn't happen, then we will worry about that. Yes, England accepted peace. So we are out of that war. Let's detach some sieges. Oh, they are coming for us. Again, remember that this is uh, winning of battles is crucial here. And we just want another one. Muscovy is outnumbered here. Because all of their allies are in the south. We might actually still get something from this war. We probably won't, but we might. Great Synod, do we want to gain Patriarch Authority or gain Stability? Let's gain Patriarch Authority, we want to max it out. It will bring us some benefits in the long term. In the long run. Okay, um, 8th of July, 13th of July. Let's intimidate you to stay in this province, yes, and follow you. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, they are attacking. Let's come to the defense, and are we ready to peace out? Not yet. We will lose this battle probably. Unless the reinforcements can come in time. Lithuania is coming, so... They might... No, they aren't. Yes, they are, alright, I was wrong. 15th of August, 12th of August, so we will catch them. Wipe, wipe this army, probably. 
plus 0.2 war score and we have the show of superiority now. So we could actually get out of this with just the concession of defeat. Should we try to take something in the war? Should we try to take something in the war? I don't think so. This is a huge coalition war. And getting enough uh, enough power to actually take something would would take too much too much of a uh, struggle. So let's see. If we want to sign the white piece, they are at minus five willingness to sign the peace. And if we try to take a province from them, they would be at minus thirteen. So we actually might be able to do that. But it would drain our resources quite considerably. And remember that if we sign a peace now, they will all be kicked out of the coalition. So if that happens, we can attack them later and not have to worry about that. Alright, so let's do that. Let's concede defeat and be out of this war. Right, thank you very much for watching. We were in trouble, but we took care of that. So remember to like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye bye. Alright, sorry about that, this was a cut, mm, because I misread the timer and I thought the episode was already 25 minutes long. We will go on and record some more. I will stitch the two parts uh, together into one episode. Alright, so we've peaced out from the Coalition War, mm, which mm, we could have continued and gained some land from Muscovy, for example. But it was a huge drain on our resources fighting Muscovy, Kara and Mamluks at the same time with some minor states also involved. That's why I decided to peace out as soon as we could. Did we lose the Defender of the Faith? Yes, we unfortunately did lose the Defender of the Faith. But that's just money. Okay, so what are we going to do next? I think we are going to annex Naples. And after that, we might want to... or. During that, we might want to expand into Gazi Kumuk. They are allied with the Timurids, but the Timurids are far. They cannot pass through Karakoryunu's lands because they are rivals, if I remember correctly. Let's see. Yes. And what about Nogai? They might be able to come through Nogai and Muscovy, but it is unlikely. So this is our next expansion target. We will feed their lands to Georgia. Maybe not all of them, but... Yeah, mm, and Gazikumuk is uh, Shia, so there is, isn't really any advantage in vassalizing them. That's what we'll do. After that we might want to attack Noga and Golden Horde. No, we actually won't do that because we won't get military access through Muscovy. This is impossible for us. So we will stop here. What about you, Shirvan? You are vassal of Karakoyunlu. So, we have a truce probably. Mm -hmm, yes. Right, so our next targets over here. And after that, we might want to already attack the Ottomans because our truce should be up. Okay, Naples. Naples has some cores here, uh, but Aragon is uh, in a personal union under Castile, and this will last for quite a while, if uh, I think I'm right in assuming that, because Castile is quite powerful and it's unlikely that they will lose the personal union. Right, so let's set a rival. I already said, uh, said Muscovy as a rival just uh, in this uh, in this cut period. Sorry for that, because but I I started recording again and, and there was a little problem. Never mind about that. And the only thing I did was order armies to go down here and set Muscovy as a rival. Okay, so Muscovy is our new rival and we won't set two other rivals yet because we don't know who we are going to fight. We are at six out of four diplomatic relations being our two vassals, three vassals, sorry, Poland, France and Austria and I think this uh, these are good relations. We will improve relations with Naples a bit and then start annexing them. Okay, so let's bring our troops home. Karaka Yunlu has announced us as uh, as their rival. This was to be expected. Oh yeah, and we can actually send a diplomat to Naples to improve relations. Oh yeah, the other thing I did was uh, send a diplomat to Naples. Yeah, and 
relations are being improved, when we reach 190, uh, we will start annexation. We have another free diplomat, we might want to form another alliance. France is neutral now, and so is Austria. This is actually good, because uh, they aren't hostile. hostile. We have good relations with France. They might flip to friendly again. We might be able to, 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 to form an alliance with them. Oh, we got some more relations. Great. Let's improve relations with Austria for now. It's good to keep um, both of them happy. Castile is off limits because they are um, our rival. I mean, they set us as a rival, so they won't like us whatever we, whatever we do. Portugal has attacked Morocco, and we have won the siege against the rebels, so let's see how our rebels are doing. Uh, Bulgarian nationalists aren't doing anything, and Kandari nationalists are doing quite a bit. Hmm, Kandar was here, wasn't it? Yeah, we have some unrest here. Uh, we will take care of that. We have a sizable army, and we don't really have any manpower, unfortunately. We might want to consolidate our troops, but no, we don't plan to. We don't plan on any wars in the very near future. So we will. We will not uh, be doing that. We will just wait for them to reinforce. And Georgia has cores here, so we might want to just declare war on Gazikumuk. But first, we want to start integrating Naples. You guys move move here, get ready to attack. They will call in Timurids, but uh, Timurids will probably be unable to reach us. Okay, overextension. We are working on that. And we will be able to get our last innovative idea very soon, which will give us an extra leader and reduce advisor cost. And reduce advisor cost is surprisingly good for the economy. Oh, Timurids has rivaled us. Everyone is rivaling us. Can we uh, can we rival the Timurids? We can, but we won't be able to reach them because Kara doesn't like us and Muscovy doesn't like us, so we won't get any military access. So this is really pointless, rivaling the Timurids at this point. Mm -hmm. If they can get military access through Muscovy, they might be able to to participate in this war. We will see about that. Okay. We are ready to start an annexing Naples now. Influence, annex. Good. And we don't need to improve relations with them anymore. We could want to expand into Tuscany, but Tuscany is allied with Castile. This, this could prove a problem. Okay, let's finish our idea group. And now we can focus on improving our technologies. Oh, and we can also buy the diplomatic technology, which we will do because we definitely want to get the embassy. Embassy gives us a bonus diplomatic relation and a bonus diplomat, if I recall correctly. Right. We will need quite a lot of money for the embassy. Let's see how we're doing on economy. Mm, we have high inflation and we have some loans and we're paying a lot to our advisors. Perhaps we should go down to level 1 advisors, but on the other hand, all the bonuses that we're getting from the level 2 advisors are quite useful to us. Better relations over time are useful because uh, we incurred some aggressive expansion, and without the missionary strength plus 2, we wouldn't be able to convert anyone. So let's just keep them for now. How long will it take? 5 more years, and this will take 6 more years. Is it really worth it? Hmm. We could use some more missionary strength. Hmm, should I just cancel it and get rid of the level 2 advisor? Hmm. Hmm, maybe a bit later. Okay, so for now, we would like to declare war on Gazikumuk. And Poland will join us, that's great. Because if the Timurids come, we can use Poland's armies. We can even annex all of uh, Gazikumuk. Or just leave them their capital, which is this province over here. We'll give all their provinces to Georgia, our our lovely vassal. Okay, let's go. A very aggressive campaign, yes, I know. Okay, 
uh, I forgot, let's split the army and give the other leader to this army. Also get another leader because we can afford it. Wow, three siege, va siege value, this is actually great. Okay, so what we'll do, we'll prepare some sieging armies instead. So a sieging army should have uh, a cannon or two. Let's give him two cannons. And two units of infantry. And that will be enough. This is one sieging army, let's give it to a sieging general. And make another. Two units of infantry, two cannons. They can be damaged, it doesn't matter. Okay, so we have a main army and two sieging armies. So let's start sieging with our sieging armies. They are very quick. And the main army will just go into their lands and attack. And attach to me. This is a minor war. And we are annexing Naples, good. I didn't check our diplomatic reputation, so I wasn't sure if this was going to progress. But it's progressing. It's progressing slowly, but that's enough. Struggle within, struggle without, we can... Hmm, yes, we will take that. Crimea will convert to Orthodox, very likely. And we don't have enough machinery strength to do that. We will lose min power, but we are almost at the minimum. So this won't hurt us. Yes. Free conversion is always nice. No longer have to worry about any unrest in that province. Let's chase their army. Will we be first? Thir 30th? Yes, we will catch them and Georgia might mm, join us. Oh, we will lose stability. This is unfortunate. But we are at plus one, so we will be alright. Do you want to get land force mm, modifier? Sorry, land force limit modifier and discipline, or do we want morale and fort defense? Discipline is better, but it's just 2.5% and 10% morale is more. Let's take morale, because we don't care about the fort limited, mm, force limit at the moment. Yes, it's unfortunate that we lost stability, but we get a lot more morale. Novgorod declare war against Muscovy. Oh, that's great, because they are our rival, and if they're weaker, we can actually conquer them. We are expanding rapidly. But it's, uh, it's justified, I think. Okay, we should wipe their army now. We've called Kaffa. Yes, we've wiped their army. So, let's do this trick where you leave one regiment everywhere. So that uh, they cannot raise any troops. It's two. How many provinces? You have six here. So, five more. We can leave cavalry just as well. Okay, so you guys stay here, you guys go here. Alright, and the main army will follow their army. After that we will distribute them a little bit more evenly to, mm, to actually be sieging all the provinces at the same time. Great. Okay, so what do we need? Let's split them as much as we can. Good. So, you stay here, you go here. Some more troops over there. Mm, this won't be enough, but we will re redistribute them a little bit. Maybe we should actually detach sieges from those units. No, we can't, because they are so perfectly balanced. Yes, we need more armies. We will need some mercenaries for any other war. And let's remember that the Timurids are also in this war, so we will again, just as it was with the, Ot the Ottomans, we will have to wait for our war score to jump up to 100. Hmm, you are actually suffering attrition. This is unfortunate. Mm, let's take one cannon from you and move it over here. Do the same with you guys. This will allow us to actually mm, gain progress in the sieges. Alright, so the war is taken care of. The Timurids don't have military access through Muscovy, I don't think so. Gives military access, no. So we should be safe. Now let's take care of diplomacy. France has flipped to friendly and they would accept an alliance if we weren't at war. This is good to know. Unfortunately, Austria... Oh, Austria would also accept an alliance if we were at positive relations and not at war. 
Do we want to be friends with Austria? Because if we ally... Oh, they are friendly as well. That's a nice change. If we ally one of them, the other will dislike us. If we ally Austria, we will probably have to break the alliance again, but they might mm, defend us. Let's just keep our relations high with both of them and see what happens. I s I'm still counting on getting a personal union with France. This would be huge. And we would most probably need Austria's help to pull that off. Okay, oh, we finished the siege, I didn't notice. Okay, let's move everyone from here to Kakheti. And you guys move to Tarki. This should be over soon. We should be transferring control of the provinces to Georgia, but we will do it later all at once. This way we can manage the revolt risk better. Naples is being annexed. We will have all of southern Italy. And after that our truce with the Ottomans should be up and we will be able to um, conquer them. Maybe not all of them in one war. How much base tax do you have? 3, 7, 12, 17, 23, 26, 30, 35. Okay, so we won't be able to conquer them in one war, but we will do it in two. If they had increased uh, autonomy, we could be able to do that, but they don't. They would have to go bankrupt for that. And I don't think that's going to happen. Or, alternatively, if the Mamluks, for example, declare war on them and take, like, uh, three or four provinces, we should be able to annex the Ottomans. Religious uproar, do we want to get um, ten unrest in Bahmat or... Five heretics regiment. Where is ba Bahmut? Bahmut? Where is that Bahmut? Let's look. Okay, it's up here. What is our unrest in this province? It's zero. And we are currently converting it. It will take us quite a while to convert it. Alright, let's let it auto-complete as us getting a pike infantry. Or do we want to just get rebels? Well, let's just get rebels. Oh, and it was a 40% chance they didn't rise up. That's good. Okay, and we are converting. And it will be really useful if we can get some missionary strength. Alright, siege, another siege completed, another siege complete. Mm, it could be nice if we separate peace to the Timurids. Let's see if they have any war exhaustion and are willing to peace out, even if we concede defeat. Not really. Because they have low war exhaustion and high enthusiasm. It's not a problem because they can't reach us. We will just continue fighting Kazikumuk and after we have... Oh, Ferrara has left the coalition. That's good, people are starting to leave the coalition. And you are actually friendly. Would you accept vassalization? No, you're too big. And Tuscany wouldn't either. It would be nice to have Tuscany as a vassal. They are quite uh, quite powerful because they have good technological development. <clears throat> but they are allied with Castile. If we could ally France and then declare war, France would probably fight Castile because they are their rival. And we could take Tuscany this way. Hmm, this might be our next conquest. Or Venice? Do we have a truce with Venice? Yes, we do. Alright, never mind. And the sieges are finishing. Alright, I think it's enough for this episode this time, and I am sure this time. Sorry for that uh, mistake earlier. And so, thank you very much for watching. I hope you liked the episode. We are still expanding rather aggressively. I know our technological development is backwards, but we will get right onto that. So, again, thank you very much for watching. Remember to like and subscribe, and see you next time. Bye-bye.